Welcome to Rags to Creek Workshop. My name's Anthony, and today I got a video for you. It's just a little quickie that uh, I come up with. I was uh, grinding some tool bits, and it was uh, taking me 10 to 15, 20 minutes sometime to get them ground to where there are all the clearances and stuff on them. And uh, so uh, I made a fixture, and uh, this fixture. Uh, now I can grind a tool bit uh, probably in uh, 30 to 45 seconds, maybe less. So it's according to how much uh, material I have to take off. If it's a new tool, it's, it's not going to it's going to take less than a minute. So with that being said, if uh, y'all like the video, subscribe and hit the little bell where you can get your notifications. And uh, I like people uh, coming to the shop with me and... Uh, checking out my videos so uh with no, that being said y'all have a great day and uh let's get the video going okay we just got a block of uh coal roll in here about three quarters by uh five eighths and what we're gonna do we're gonna mill a uh half inch slot in it gonna be a little over a half inch because we're gonna clean up each side and we're gonna put it on a uh, seven degree angle. Wait a minute. I got that thing set up exactly uh, by its acres. This is just a rubber band to hold that uh, the two little angle blocks in there. I'll be right back. Okay, that was my granddaughter. She came in here to ask some questions. All right. Uh, yeah, we had that thing set up all wrong, so we're going to start over here. Well, not really start over. We just had to turn it around. Bozo almost got me. Thought Harold would keep him in Texas, but don't look like he did. I'm gonna put that little rubber band back on there. Whatever I done with it. Just try to keep that And I ain't and little angle blocks from uh, vibrating out. I don't know if that'll help any or not. We will see. Uh-oh, kick the camera again. I'm bad about that. Trying to adjust it for a little bit better view. Probably making y'all a little bit dizzy. <laughs> uh...
I guess it'd help if I do this from the other side. Keep out of the way of the lens. This is the last pass. I'll do the, uh, I'll just uh, touch off on the sides and do them off camera. I'm just gonna clean them up. So, uh, I'll finish this up uh, here and uh, then I'll bring y'all back. Okay, I drilled and tapped two holes in this off camera. This back hole is for the other side of the uh, pedestal grinder here. Uh, I hadn't got it up. I hadn't got it mounted yet on a pedestal. I got uh, I got some material out there that uh, I've got, but uh, just too hot to do welding right now. But anyway. This one uh, goes to the other side over here because this uh, the other side is a little bit further back from the wheel than this side is. See, this side is uh, a little closer to the wheel. So if I put this uh, over here on the other side, it would have about a uh, uh, 3 sixteenths to a quarter inch gap. I made that particularly uh, for uh, a reason. Uh, there's some stuff I ground. And when I was making these, I had to have it uh, that close this one and uh, I started to do both of them that way and I said well it'd be good to have uh, one close and one further away for uh, different things but anyway I ground this uh, tool earlier this thing makes a lot of racket I didn't want to have it on camera but uh, it's uh, it's on a seven degree uh, uh, taper here and I got this bar set it's just got a little uh, flathead screw in the bottom of it and I got it set at uh, 7 degrees and uh, when I ground it you can see it's got the 7 degree relief here the 7 degree relief back to this corner plus the 7 degree relief back to here so you grind all that at one time and uh, this is the first grinding fixture I made. Uh, I'm not, uh, no, it's not the first grinding fixture I made. This is a result of the first grinding fixture I made. The first one I made was just uh, two little bars like, uh, like this here. And uh, one of them just went on an angle. And then I made another one that fit on that same bar that had a, 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 a little bit of a relief angle. And uh, I seen that that worked pretty good, so I made this one, uh, and uh, it works great. I mean, it uh, it grinds the tool up, and uh, as you can see, it uh, it's got a uh, good angle there on it. It's angled back, it's angled down. Got your relief here, got your relief here, your rake and uh you put it in there and it's going to, it's going to cut uh we'll uh try this we'll get a tool holder set up and try this in the lathe and let y'all see how it cuts but uh all i've done is put it in here like that right there and just until it cleaned up and uh just one grind never did turn it no other way just had it that one way and it done all the grinding at one time. So we're going to meet y'all back over at the lathe. Okay, here we are back over at the lathe. I got that tool in the lathe. We're going to set her up here to uh, do a test cut with it. Just that one grind's all it's got. I ain't uh, done nothing else to it.
surface finish ain't all that great, but I I probably had to probably got the feed rate way too fast and the RPM's not fast enough. Let's see if we can get that a little better. It's a it's good, but it's just got a little bit of uh, you can't hardly feel it, but you can see it when you get up close to it. Let's see what we can do here with that. Uh, see what we got speed wise. Well, I went the wrong way on the speed. I'm thinking. Yeah. Let's see how this does. I think it'll probably do a little better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Oh yeah, that ain't even, you can't even, that's a real good finish there. Okay, that pool's gonna be fine for finish cuts if I need something real real fine uh, that uh, I don't know if that's thing I'm focusing there we go but uh, it done a real good job the uh, this other grinding you done on it uh, did you see done on it that was already on it when I got it uh, had a big radius out here on this end, so that's uh, that's what we got now. And uh, that little fixture is going to do me well, I think. Uh, I'll be back in a sec. Well, I hope y'all liked the video today. Uh, it was just a quickie that I did. Uh, it uh, cooled off a little bit. Not much, but it's cooled off a little bit. It's still pretty warm down here in Alabama. It was uh, low 90s today. Uh, but that's, uh, that's cooler than the 100 and uh, 110, 15 degree heat index. So uh, I hope y'all liked the video. It, uh, Like I said, it was just a quickie. Uh, I had these. These are the, ones, these are the little... Uh, 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 things I was talking about before uh, that I had made that uh, I developed that other uh, I've got another one here somewhere that uh, has got the little angle piece on it here's the one here's the little angle piece I made uh, back uh, uh, it was back in the winter uh, and uh, it worked pretty good but uh, I wanted something a little more substantial where I could hold on to it. These are just real, real tiny, and uh, they'll do for uh, like a quarter inch and uh, three sixteenths, uh, where you can get you, you know, get pressure on them. The taller tools you can't get pressure on them, but uh, that's the two that inspired the uh, the other mate. And uh, <coughs> we uh, we've been out here about. Uh, two or three hours now and it's uh, about time to go back in the house but I appreciate y'all stopping by and I hope y'all like this quickie uh, it, uh, it was uh, something I had come up with I needed a tool the other day and it took me uh, 
about uh, 10 to 20 minutes to grind it. Uh, you've seen that tool I had uh, before. Let me go get it. Uh, still over here on the mill. I'll be right back. This one here, I ground in about uh, two and a half minutes. It had been less than that, but I had to take that big old radius that it had on the end of it. I think I've got another one of those tools here. Yeah, here's one that's been ground several times and been sharpened. Uh, that was made to put uh, a radius on a part, uh, on a phalange part that we made at uh, at work that has been ground like i said it's been ground several times and uh this one it was a brand new brand new grind on it so it uh it was uh uh shaped like similar to this one before i ground the radius off of it but that's 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 basically what it looks like right there I don't know, know if I got it in the camera or not. Maybe maybe you can see it. I don't know. But this one right here, I like that. And it does a good job. So y'all, uh, if you hadn't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It don't cost you nothing. It don't even annoy you. Uh, you just come back and view videos when you want to. But if you want to get notified every time I post a new video, hit that little bell. And uh, y'all have a nice day. And... Uh, a blessed one, and uh, y'all come back to see me now. God bless.